I'll look at the tropics. The tropics are active. There's one, two, three, and right into here, a little one that I'm not going to cover. It's not very strong at all. And really, Gert is moving on away. <laughs> it was a hurricane, but again, it's nothing now. It's post-tropical, uh, which means basically it's got some cooler air wrapped into it and some drier air, and that's just going to continue to move on away. So I'm not concerned about this one at all, and this will likely be about the last we'll see of it in terms of any kind of statements that I'll make or the Hurricane Center will make. There's where it is by about Friday night, tomorrow night late. It's moving on away. 65 mile an hour winds, and it's motoring on away. What else is there out there? Ta-da, Harvey, a brand new one. And I had said that this 91L was the, was the uh, uh, name it had uh, before it could become Harvey. Well, it did. As of about 10 after 5 this afternoon, Hurricane Hunter aircraft reported back in. They, yep, they'd found a circulation within it, but here's where it's going. All the forecast models have it pushing on toward the west, and there's where it is all the way on into sat on it all the way into Tuesday of next week. 65 mile an hour winds. It's likely to slam ashore uh, somewhere near Belize in, in uh, Central America. America. So that's what's going on with that. There's another one out there, and that one could become Irma, and it's likely to continue in this direction all the way to Thursday. Over the next week, uh, that's where that one is headed. So there is Harvey right there, and the one that could become Irma is right here where my hand is, way out here, uh, right there. And this is absolutely nothing right into here. In fact, that's kind of blocking things uh, for right now. So not much rain for right now in our area. We had some rain off to the west. It fell apart. It just left us with some cloud cover during the afternoon hours. But there's still a little bit of rain off to the west, which could still get us. But it's not a real big chance of rain overnight into tomorrow morning. During the day tomorrow, yeah, they get a little bit better shot at seeing a few showers, maybe a rumble or two of thunder, even into the evening hours, 7 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the evening, and then thereafter it tends to move offshore, well, there's the eastern shore, at 1 o'clock in the morning, and it moves away. How about Saturday? Now, this one a little bit different. Forecast models do have some rainfall into the area. Right on down into here, clipping the south side of the Hampton Roads area uh, with the possibility of some rainfall. So I'm not taking it out of there entirely in terms of chances of rain coming up uh, for the day on Saturday. How about Sunday? Nah, not real, real likely. How about Monday? Nah, not real likely. And of course, it's Eclipse Day then. Tuesday looks quiet, and then I think Wednesday is going to be our best shot at seeing some rainfall into next week. Overnight, isolated shower is possible, not real, real likely. Heat index, it'll be 93 for a high, but the heat index around 100, 104 degrees during the afternoon coming up for tomorrow. Not 93, then 90, then 89. There's the eclipse. It begins at 119. It peaks at around 88 or 90 percent of the sun obscured by the moon uh, at 246 in the afternoon. And then finally it goes away at 4.06 in the afternoon. So again, that's what's going on with the eclipse. Uh, so far, so good. It looks like there'll be a little bit of cloud cover, uh, but not much of a chance of rain for Monday.